this is a standard 600 yard target for in area competitions, NRA high power. This is also known as an MR1 target. Uh, this is the, we use this as 600 yards for slow fire prone. Uh, in order for a shooter on the line to actually see shots at 600 yards, we have what's known as a spotter disc. It's a black or white disc with a spindle in the middle. This actually goes into the bullet hole to mark that target or mark the shot for that shooter. So when a bullet hole occurs, you know, a shot takes place, I mark, I run the target down, I'll mark that bullet hole with the spotter disc. Uh, depending on, the shooter will not be able to determine, you know, in general what ring it's in. It may be a 10 or a 9. In order for him to understand, or him or her to understand what or know where the shot is or what the value is, we have what's known as a scoring disc. A scoring disc will be placed around the target frame in the uh, predefined uh, areas as designated in the rule book by the NRA or the CMP if you happen to be shooting in a leg match or an excellence in competition match. Uh, there's two methods usually in general that we use for scoring. One is traditional, which has been used for a long time, and one's international. International method has been used, uh, been f used more widely as of late. Uh, there's a debate whether or not it's going to be used at the next nationals. I don't know, but uh, from my understanding, there's a lot of grumbling about whether or not to use standard or international scoring. I'll show you international scoring method right now, since that's what we tend to use at this point in time in most matches. Uh, to mark an X, we'll use the uh, three o'clock position on the target. With the we'll put it, so if it shots an X, we'll mark it with the scoring disc at this point. Lower right corner, we'll mark a ten. Uh, bottom right, bottom right, middle section, we'll denote a nine. Uh, left middle, we'll denote an eight. Far left, we'll denote a seven. Nine o'clock left position, we'll denote a six. And if it's a five, we'll go back to what was an X. Um, there's no confusion at this point for between an X and a 5 because the scoring or the spotter disc will either be an X or in the 5 ring. So this, even though it doubles for two different uh, scoring values, it's obvious to the shooter what that score means when he sees the orange uh, scoring disc in the 3 o'clock position since this will correspond to where the shot actually is. Uh, in the event of miss, we'll mark it at 12 o'clock position. So we're getting ready. This is a practice session for a string of fire on the 600 yard line. Uh, the shot, the target has been used somewhat, but pasters have been put in place to uh, to cover all the shot holes. Uh, black pasters on the black rings, white pasters on the white rings. Uh, shooters getting ready on the line, so we'll go ahead and run the target all the way up. The targets in the pits run on some some type of rail or pulley or cantilever type system basically it allows the shooter to or the the pit puller to bring the target down to tend to the target and bring it back up for the shooter to fire on the target in order for the person in the pits to mark a shot you'll have to wait for the shot to occur and then run it down how do you know when a shot occurs uh, most people will think you stare up at the target that is not what you need what you're supposed to do and not what you should do for safety reasons uh, mainly because if you stare up at the target we've got you may have these plastic uh, spindles with the scoring and spotting discs up in the target uh, the target frame itself is made out of wood there may be staples up there depending on what the range uses for keeping the targets up the target the uh, target paper up so there's possibility of shrapnel, ricochet, maybe a bullet jacket fragment or whatnot coming off. So you don't want to be staring up at that target when that happens. If that happens, you're staring up at the target, you may get fragments in the face or worst case in your eye. And you may not be wearing eye protection. Rather than staring at the target, what you need to do is look at the impact berm. General at most ranges, generally there's an impact berm where, where after a shot, the bullet uh, flies overhead into the target, it'll land somewhere. Therefore, they have a berm back there to handle all the impacts. Usually for each target point in the pits, you're always going to have one small section of that target berm where your bullets will impact. And you'll know that it's yours. So after your first couple shots on that, while you're in the pits, you'll know that that little splash in that two foot by two foot segment is going to be your, your, uh, your target point. So when you see an impact in that, that spot, you'll know you can run that target down because you have a shot on your target.